Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I have an apology to make. Some of you guys, I think there are about 60 of you guys who saw this video when I last released it to do a Mickey Mouse M because I got lots of requests on how to do um, characters on top of the 3D block letters. And it turns out that I, <laughs> I moved my face around, so I ended up with the face on the lower left-hand corner because I hardly ever do any designing in that area, and I did the whole design behind my face. <laughs> so some of the questions or some of the comments I got was, um, I couldn't see anything, and I'm getting these messages on my phone. Oh my gosh. So I deleted that video. I'm redoing it today for you guys. So my 3D block letters, the SVG is on Etsy. It The designer is, um, is Namara Quintella. It is a great design. I, um, I like the chunky letters. Um, you have an option of buying letters also through Design Space um, images. So if you looked up 3D letters and images, and I'll look it up right now just so that you can see it. Um, three letter and the difference in price is um, shoot first we got to find it um, oh here they are so you can see um, I wonder if I could see the letter M they don't look like they're in any particular order but um, let's see did I see no oh I said okay so here's an N I know we're doing an M um, this is two dollars per letter per letter per number um if you have access which i do it would only then be a dollar right because you get 50 percent off um but still at a dollar as you go through all of these um it would cost a lot more than just buying the set from nomara on etsy and hers is numbers letters and signs so exclamation marks question marks etc um is um 18 dollars and i personally like it more because if you look at the letter look how thin it is and narrow i personally like the chunkier letters that we get from nomara so i'm just going to let me insert this just to see what it looks like um and we can break it down so you can kind of get a feel for um, how big it is. So let's see, our M is almost six inches. So let me ungroup this for a second. And the way that you, you would make the, the letters the same size is you would do this because we want this to be six inches, right? So we want all of the ends up here. And then we want every, so I'm going to grab these four letters, okay? And go to align and just align bottom. So now we know that they are exactly um, all of the same height because they're all starting at the same spot, right? And then these little guys, these little tabs, you're gonna move it within the space of the letter N, okay? Because we want the N to be um, what is driving the height of this. So right now the height is 4.889, right? Everything is within this height of the letter N. So that way I can grab everything and change the height to, let's change it to six inches for instance, because I think, did I say this was six inches? Almost six inches, so 5.8. So um, so now they're, they're somewhat comparable, right? They're both almost the same in height, but you, you can see right here, look, the, the letters are much thinner. See, oh here, I guess this is a better comparison. So you see like the stick, it's a little bit thinner. So I personally prefer the thicker letters. It's easier to fold, it stands more easily, and then it gives you more space to do designs. So I just like the chunkier look. Um, so it's totally up to you. All right, so that's how you resize everything. You wanna make sure that whatever height your N is, everything else fits within that height so that this is what's driving your height. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this. That was just for show. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make this Mickey Mouse M. So here, um, here are all the tabs, right? And excuse me, let me grab, if I go over here, I can grab my letters. I should have had it right next to me, okay. So this is the letter D, 
decorated, but you can see how it's it's super stable. I mean, this is my hand, but um, it stands really nice and steady and sturdy. There's nothing moving it because I've seen some videos where people put things inside to make sure that it stands properly, like upright. These don't need it. They're really, I mean, if you see, look at the, the width in that. So um, the tabs, are these little things right here, right? And then your top M and your bottom M. So this is your front M and then your bottom M. And then these are the tabs that go in between. So you, we want to keep these all, um, all four tabs and the two top and bottom M's. We need those. So when we want to make this, you want to make a duplicate copy. So here's our M. Okay. And this is almost about six inches, right? So let's do this bottom, the pants. So let's bring in a square. Now this is up to you. Um, we can unlock it. We could do, we're gonna slice it. So you can make the pants as short or as tall as you want, but here's my take. <laughs> you want the pants to be taller than the tips of these a little, I don't, I don't know what you call them, but you know, whatever, these little points right here, you want them above that so that your pants, they're one piece. If you do it below this point, this is what's gonna happen. I'll, I'll just show you, because I'm having a hard time um, with the English language right now. <laughs> okay, we're gonna slice it so I can show you what that looks like, okay? So here we go. So basically this is three pieces, right? Because if we go to contour, you can see it's broken into three pieces. So if you like this look, which I mean, that's totally up to you, right? Um, if you like this look, just know that your pants are gonna be in three pieces. I myself prefer one piece. So like this one, it's all one piece. So here, let's do another one and I will show you the difference. So let's duplicate that. I'll put it right next to this one. So your option is this, um, and actually, make a duplicate copy of this we'll use this and we'll put this on top so arrange send to the front so this is what it would look like and then your your buckles okay now on this one I'm gonna make my so I'm gonna delete that let's bring in a square and I always just unlock it so that I can make sure it's wide enough. Okay, so here we go. So here is our M. I'm going to make it just slightly above it. Okay, and then I'm going to slice. And remember when you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So it's my square and the letter M. All right, so we can get rid of this. And now this piece is one. Now you may think that this one is also one, but remember I showed you when we went to contour, it's actually three separated pieces, right? So here's my M. This one's nice because it's one piece. I like making, I mean, crafting is so hard as it is. I like to make things as simple as possible when I can. So this M, I can either weld it back together or leave it. But basically this is the everything that's going to go on top of my m so here is my red and you can just go to arrange and send to the front so here's my m the buttons are easy the buttons are just circles and make them whatever size you oops i shouldn't have unlocked it because i want this to be a perfect circle so um, I don't want to unlock it. I just want to make it smaller. Okay. So I don't really have any good measurement for you, just that you want to make it proportionate to everything else. Right now, I don't even know how big this letter M is. Well, actually, no, because we talked about it earlier. Almost six inches, right? So I'm not going to care about, should I make my buttons one inch, two inches? It doesn't matter. As long as it's proportionate to everything else, that's what's important. Okay, so here are my two M's, I mean my two buttons. Um, let's grab the two buttons and change the color. So let's go and change it to yellow. Oh, I like that yellow more than that yellow. Okay, 
Um, let's change this one to black just so that we already have, so it looks more like Mickey. All right, so it's starting to look like it, right? Okay, so let's bring in a circle and we're gonna do the ears right now. So uh, Mickey's ears are not perfectly round. So I'm gonna unlock it just a little bit and kind of make it a little bit wider. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna duplicate it. Okay, so these two, they're even, right? Because I duplicated the shape. Grab both of them, go to align, and we want to align center vertically. We want them to be perfectly right next to each other, like on the same line, because they're the ears. They're supposed to be symmetrical, right? So here are my two ears. I'm gonna grab, the two ears are already highlighted. They're selected, right? You can see here they're um, in the dark gray. Hit the shift key, grab your black M and weld it. So now it's one piece. And then you just send it to the back, arrange, send to the back. And there's our Mickey Mouse M. Now, um, I like having it here. And then this, this is to be built. That's gonna give you your structure. I keep it as is. Everything else goes on top. So my black M is another layer. And then the red pants is another layer. And then the buttons is another layer. Um, I like these uh, letters because they're very sturdy and they stand up. So if you were to do shoes, you want to um, do the shoes where they end at the M because if your shoes go below here, they're not gonna stand that well because it's not gonna be supported by anything. The, the um, cardstock's gonna be too flimsy for it to stand, so it'll tip over. So just make sure that if you wanted to do shoes, you would have to kind of um, resize this so that the shoes look good. I'm gonna show you that just in case um, you want to do that. So let's go into images. And we do have Disney images here, so let me look up Mickey Mouse. And, oh, his ears are a little bit, you know what we could do? Okay, so let's grab that. So here are the pants. That's what we were trying to duplicate. And the pants, I didn't realize I'm, clearly I'm not a big Disney person. I do a lot of Disney characters, but I don't really know my, um, my characters that well. So these, these are more oval. Mine are perfectly round. So we can redo that. Um, here, you know what? We can bring that in and we can bring in the shoe. So we can look at these images. We don't have to pay for them until we go to make it. So I'm just gonna insert it so you could see. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna duplicate this again. Now I'm gonna make my Mickey big. Okay, so that's Mickey, right? This is about the right size, right? Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my shape. I'm gonna put him right here. Now see, he's off-centered, so I don't know how I feel about that. I kinda like it even. So I think what I'm gonna do is, you can do this. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for showing you this. Okay, unlock. And reshape it. So it's kinda of like this. That looks about almost right, right? Okay, I'm gonna duplicate it. Turn it this way. I'm gonna go grab my two gray circles that I just made and my pink M. And I'm gonna weld it. So you could do something like that. Um, let me change this to black so it looks more like Mickey. So here is our third Mickey. I'm gonna delete Mickey now. So it's, you know, this is totally preference, right? 
um, let's duplicate this so we can move it over so you can see what it looks like. And then, okay, so our circles need to be um, less perfect and more. So let's move this over, arrange, send to the front, and we can change, unlock it, and make them more like oval shape. So maybe this is what you want. Um, but you can kind of see, okay, so now let's look at the shoe for a second. If you wanted this shoe, you want to make sure that it sits up here, which in this case, I really don't like the way the shoe is because you're kind of expecting the leg. Like if anything, it needs to be here, but then it won't stand well. So I'm just going to make an executive decision right here and not do the shoe. But you can kind of see, I mean, you, I could have pulled this up to look at it a little bit better to know that these were the, the right shapes for it. But, um, so let me know if you like this one, this one, or this one. <laughs> but that's how you do it. Thank you so much for being so patient and letting me know that um, you couldn't see anything because it was being hidden by my face. I appreciate it. I don't know. Let me know your comments on this video if you want to see other characters, but that's kind of like how I go about doing things. So um, yeah, feedback would be awesome. Special requests also here. That would be great. I actually am taping or recording um, quite a few special requests right after this one. So we have a lot coming up this week. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving and I will see you later. Thanks guys. if I can ever get this to stop. Bye.